Hey team, it's Jam. Today I'm coming at you with this baddie geisha look just because I'm obsessed with like Japanese culture and I love doing looks like this. So I'm starting off with some stenciling on my chest area um, and I'm just doing this because I wasn't 100% sure what I was going to do on my chest. You can see I'm all red because I already like did something else and hated it and wiped it off. But I'm doing this um, leafy design and then I did these flowers which kind of came out a bit blotchy but you don't really see them in the end anyway so you know whatever I'm doing this little design right in the cleavy area and then I'm just kind of mapping out my Oni Japanese devil which is going right smack dab in the middle and then I'm gonna kind of do his horns so they frame my neck area so I just mapped it out first with a water activated white paint and then I'm going back in with the red and filling in all of the bulk coloured areas. For this design I just looked at a random reference picture of Google, um, he kind of looks like a bull right now. I don't know how all these fancy Instagram artists do like real fancy designs on their chest, it is so hard to paint on yourself like this. This literally took me so long, it would be so fast doing it on someone else but oh, I hate painting on myself, it's so hard. So it's definitely not my best artistry, but you know what? I tried. <laughs> I'm giving him this sweet troll-like blue hairdo. Um, and then just the finer details and we are did on him for now. I did some swirly cloud like bits coming off the side um, and then I go in and detail them a bit later. Back to the face, we're going to prime with the NYX Professional Makeup Pore Filler. This is awesome for making a nice even base. And then I'm going in with the NYX Professional Makeup Control Drops in Porcelain, I think. Just the palest one I could see. And then I'm adding a little bit of Born to Glow just to add a bit of that glowiness back into the skin because of those two quite matte products. Now I'm going in with one of the NYX Primal colours in um, Hot Pink um, but I do kind of go over this later so don't pay too much attention. I decided I needed to be more white so I'm going in with my NYX Professional Makeup Jumbo Stick in Milk, an iconic product um, and I'm just blending that out to brighten up the centre of the face a bit more because we are geisha, we need to be pale. super brightening up the inner corners of the eyes with that same jumbo stick and then I'm doing a really accentuated um, front eye bit this is very I don't know drag queeny and then in the ultimate brights palette I'm taking this pink and blending it underneath that new lash line and then I'm taking the hot pink primal colour and just deepening that, making it a bit brighter. I'm taking a mixture of warm tones from the Ultimate palette and just blending that all around the mouth area, just because we like to keep it weird around here. Now I'm going for an intense hot pink contour so I'm just blending that out and then I'm going to go over that with some of those same shadows that we used under the eye.
Now for the lips, I am just using a super hot pink and outlining and making this weird top cupid's bow shape. Moving on to the eyeliner, I'm using one of the NYX liquid lingeries and to get my crease shape I'm just like rolling my eyes up so I can get that transfer line and then I know how high it needs to go. I'm setting that with another primal colour and then we're doing some intense neck contouring with that same ready primal colour as well. Slicking back my hair to add my wig, um, I decided to go for a more like modern-y wig for a bit of a twist um, and also I suck at doing like traditional geisha hair so this is a good option. I went through my brows with the NYX Jumbo Pencil and added a little bit of pink to the inner corners and then I'm adding these cute little flower gems. I'm blending some of this baked blush into that middle area and then I'm going over that area with a highlight from the Beauty Dropout palette. From the Ultimate Brights palette, I'm taking a really bright yellow and adding a bit of colour into that inner corner area. And then I took a gold shadow and kind of blended that into the centre of the forehead just to add a bit of colour. And now I'm just going in and adding some details, some little lines and dots and teardrop designs. And for this I'm just using a water activated white paint. And then I'm going in and adding some little aqua lashes and a little detail above the liner there. Just for a bit of contrast, you know. Back onto the chesticle area, we're going in with a black water activated paint and I'm just lining those shapes that we did earlier. And now we're adding some mascara. I was gonna add lashes but I decided to just keep it with just mascara so that the liner is like the standout of the look. I went over that yellow with this gold liner. Added some hair accessories and some spooky white eye contacts and we are all did. We are a creepy baddie geisha girl. Hope you guys enjoyed. This is my submission for the NYX New Zealand Australia Face Awards 2019. Thank you guys so much for watching. Give it a thumbs up, subscribe, hit the notification bell and yeah, I'll see you all in my next one. Bye. I'm gonna do a sideways pad. I love a sideways pad.